喺叙利亚内战问题上，中国同俄罗斯联手阻止对阿萨德总统采取更严厉嘅行动，谴责外国势力支持反政府武装系违反叙利亚嘅主权。但系喺中国，同样系主权问题嘅克里米亚就默不作声地同俄罗斯决裂。中国外交部发言人洪磊话：，中方历来尊重各国的主权、独立和领土完整。克里米亚问题应该在法律和秩序的框架框架下。政治解决，各方应该保持克制，避免采取激化矛盾的行动。美利坚大学教授达登话：，中国绝不希望鼓励任何形式嘅分离主义紧张局势，因此俄罗斯喺克里米亚问题上采取嘅行动代价好大。China has a very strict anti-secession one-China policy. It requires international support for its positions on Taiwan. The idea that By popular referendum, some part of the country could decide that it's no longer part of the country without the approval of the central government. Is something they are never going to sign on to. So Russia is isolating itself by this action. 喺俄罗斯否决联合国安理会有关克里米亚嘅决议草案时，中国投咗弃权票，话应该要采取更多行动，缓和当地危机。美国官员话佢哋喺乌克兰问题上同中国密切协商，强调俄罗斯喺克里米亚嘅行动违反国际准则，以此去进一步孤立俄罗斯。美国国务院发言人沙奇话 ：，Well, our hope continues to be that you know many members of the international community, including China, are uh are in coordination and cooperation about uh the illegal steps that Russia took in this case and the pressure that needs to be exerted uh from not just the United States but countries around the world. 俄罗斯军队控制一个前苏联加盟共和国，亦令到外界质疑莫斯科是否要维护后冷战嘅现状。达登话 ：，Kazakhstan, for example, is absolutely alarmed by the idea that Russian-speaking populations should have the right to determine whether they would secede and become part of the Russian Federation. Within the Commonwealth of Independent States, Russia has been enshrining the principle of sovereignty, and that's partly why it has had good relations with Kazakhstan and some of its neighbors. Undoing that is going to cause、uh, a lot of havoc in those relations. 俄罗斯总统普京话克里米亚危机唔系俄罗斯造成，佢呼吁提前喺四月举行独联体国家会议，商讨乌克兰危机。美国之音记者斯蒂恩斯国务院报道。